the Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie podcast. Well, he started on Monday. This is unbelievable. Uh-huh. His life is about to change. The first thing I thought about, though, was how's David Kosh going without his alarm this week? How is Koshy going? Oh. But let's focus on this man who has taken over from him. You can catch him sunrise, 5.30 each morning. It's the magnificent Matty Sherman yes. yes. Thanks for having me back. Welcome. Koshy yeah. is in a dreamland right now, don't you reckon? 21 oh, yeah. years yes. doing sunrise, getting up in the middle of the night, coming into the studio, and then it all stops. But even better than that, I reckon getting your nights back. Yeah. Without a doubt, because I go to bed at 8.30, and you get to the point where you socially, when you get asked to go out for dinner, you freak out, because you're mm. like, I can't. Well, I, I do that anyway, yeah. even before I join <laughs> the what breakfast you, what show. What do you do when you hit the wall? Because it, it's all kind oh. of ahead of me, isn't it? So... Exercise. You've yeah. got it. You've got to keep moving. If you sit down anywhere, Shervo, so what about you'll for go to sleep. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I also, oh, I also well, love, that's a cheap shot with him not being here. I also love telling an Olympic sprinter <laughs> yes. he should consider some exercise. <laughs> some exercise. An Olympian. How do you prepare? <laughs> you, oh, please. You, have, you can't stop. You can't sit down, Shervo. Mm. Don't gonna... lean. Don't lean anywhere. Yeah. Yep, yep. This yeah, is don't nice. sit down. Don't lay down. Whatever you do, don't lay down. How are you going with it, Kate? Oh, well, I'm not too, I'm not too bad. I guess I, I have done a little bit of it before. And even when I worked on Home and Away, I mean, mm. That was a, that's the real slog because not only were you up at the crack of dawn, but you'd work fourteen hours. Whereas mm-hmm. this is a, a, a little bit better. So you than weren't that. sleepy, Sally. No, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't <laughs> sleepy, Sally. Thank you very much for the reference. But also, you probably haven't heard, and the reason why you, you may not is because Whipper's not here to rub it in. Is I don't start till seven anyway. Oh, I mean, I'm starting six o'clock this week because Whipper's on the other side of the She's world been eating good. They escargot. Call that in the industry, a superstar chef. Oh, oh is yes. it? Did you try it for you? Just <laughs> Going, Nat can do. Nat and the team can do six to seven, but Shervo Olympian is going to roll in from seven. Do you know to what, nine. Maddie? Uh, so we did the announcement uh, Monday a week ago, yeah. and I went in at about eight o'clock, and I'm sitting on the couch, and I'm thinking, actually, that would be nice oh. if I just rocked up at eight o'clock. That was my call time. It's yeah. like, yeah, sweet, I'll do that. Ten minutes, whack on some makeup, while you go. Oh. We we have Whipper and I actually over the years we have when it comes to contract negotiations, there have been a couple of times where we've gone. Would you guys? Do you, people aren't really up at six, are they? <laughs> <laughs> we can start at seven or at ten. I didn't even have to ask. Yeah, but you know what? What I quite like, and I and I know, like I said, I am probably rubbing it in. I quite like driving in at that time because you're wrong. People are, mm. they are up at that time. Yeah. They are on the roads, yeah. and there's something really exciting. And it might yeah. sound daggy, is that when I'm coming in here, and I know we're about to, you know, talk to. Six Sydney, yeah. is that you're sharing it with all of these people on the roads. Yeah. It's nice to get an indication of who's going to be listening and who you're talking to. Well, that was um, a great line, Kate. If you throw some soft music under that, that could be an ad for Commercial Radio Australia. Yeah. Advertise with radio. Yeah. We're yeah. listening. Oh, it's, it's daggy, a vibe, but it's, it's, a it's a vibe. It's a vibe. <laughs> it's a vibe. Get out there, people. Yeah, get in the traffic. Yeah. What do you love? Say loving? hello oh. to everyone. Get a sausage roll and a oh. chalky milk. It's a good idea. <laughs> and I saw you a couple of weeks ago at the big gym. Joey's versus Riverview game yes. at Leichhardt Oval. <laughs> and I oh, you gra- tried to get the inside yeah. word. Yeah, I said, I tried. saw Shervo on the weekend. I grabbed Shervo <laughs> and I looked at him. I grabbed him by both shoulders and I said, look, I now I know you can't tell me, <laughs> but I said, if it's true what I'm hearing, I just want to congratulate you, mate, and congratulations <laughs> on everything that you've done. That's and not true. That's not true. Do you know what he said to me? He goes, oh, we had Koshy in. He almost let the cat out of the bag. <laughs> but he said, he said, it's yeah. definitely someone younger and better looking and he said, so it can't be you, Sheila. <laughs> 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 it was very good. No, congratulations, yeah, mate. Now, yeah. when you step up to a huge role like this, you have to come in for headline off. Of course you do. Um, it's now, what you do. It's a rite of passage. Yeah. Koshi has won this a couple of times on the show, but he's gone now. He's retired. You are taking over. So this is where I give you a topical story. you got to give us the best headline. You ready for okay. this? Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Matt, are you, re- you ready for this? Born ready, mate. Let's You're do, right. do that go. next. Well, Matt DeGroote's job is to read out headlines. He's not that great at it, but gets it right sometimes. <laughs> Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today. <laughs> Matt Shervington is about to rip out his spine. Well, metaphorically, with some headlines. <laughs> okay, here we go. Okay. 
actually, I need the uh, topical stories. I don't have them. There can I go. have those, Sherva? Oh, I'll hand them back to you. Oh, there you go, Sherva. You can have them back. This is Good how they should this this show. I love it. This is how they should have decided Koshy's replacement. Let's be totally honest oh. with you. Get Sherva, myself, can James you? Tobin, Daryl we... Summers. I... <laughs> like Let's get Sherva, myself. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Matty DeGroote's going to go first to show you how to do it, um, Sherva. But it's a topical story. Give us your best headline. First one. Well, Kate, you spoke about this yesterday. The woman that was struck by lightning, but now she can sense when storms are coming. Woman struck by lightning can now sense when storms are coming. Best headline. To see the only weather vane that really is mint. Just watch Shervo as he does the 100 metre sprint. (laughs) (laughs) You're so vain. That is not bad. Not bad, DeGroote, it's one of your best. Very awkward in here. All right, Shervo, best headline. Woman struck by lightning heard a massive crack and now she's more qualified than that weatherman, Sam Mack. Oh! Oh! Oh. Very topical. Sorry, Sam. Oh, that is good, Kate. Do we have to choose? I've never done the uh, headline off before. Who's won the first one? I can't look you in the eye, Sherva, but it has to be MDG. Matt, MDG. MDG. It's got to be the weather. Right. Right. You can in see it, it pulsating sh- on his forehead. As respectful as I possibly can. All right, Sherva, you can go first here. Okay. Real life Groundhog Day. A Sydney retiree is living life on repeat due to a rare condition. It's a real life Groundhog Day. Best headline. Is my life on repeat? It's hard to know, but I swear you guys, well, you told the same jokes on yesterday's show. Ah, oh, yes. That is true. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. You're going to do yourself and, out of a point. And the day before, and the day before. <laughs> and the year before, I think. <laughs> To do the same thing every day, you'd stick a fork in your eye. Did I mention again it's busy on the f***ing <gasps> five? Oh! <laughs> now that is... Now you got to take the swearing. <laughs> that is... No. That is ridiculous. Well, that is, you've that is, gone rogue. That's what? unprofessional. <laughs> he, he, he has. It's all about shock value. Oh, I, I think that's a disqualification. Oh, right? absolutely. Yeah. Point uh, point yeah. to you, Sherv. Right oh. We're going to a decider? Yeah. <laughs> Shocking. This never happens. <laughs> okay, MDG, you're going first here. Matty Shervington cuts a gloomy figure as he scowls whilst heading to Koshy's farewell yeah. lunch. That was an actual headline <laughs> last week. Matty Shervington, he looked a little bit down as he was heading to Koshy's farewell lunch. Best headline. As a Brecker TV host, you must wear a snarl, especially if you're in Noosa with Clarkie and Carl. Oh! oh. That's topical too. Is that an accusation? That is an accusation. They're your competitors now, (laughs) mate. (laughs) Shervo, best headline. Gloomy? What, me? Fitzy, you're only smiling because you had a legendary footy career. Oh, no, wait. No, you didn't. Oh! (laughs) Smacked him out of nowhere. Okay. Okay. That you've got to take that into consideration. I am so close to you here. Yeah, I know. Could this be Matt De Groot's first win? Well, you know what? I have taken it into consideration, and that's why I'm going to give Shadow the win. Good. You did give it everything. <laughs> no, Sherva, you have come on our show for a very long time over the years. You are a good mate. Congratulations. It's a huge... That is a great promotion, yeah, mate. And you is. deserve it. You've worked very hard, buddy. Do you know, I equally uh, love coming in. I really do. And your support is so valued to me. It's um, always nice to come and say good day to you guys. And you're always so supportive, whether it's in the studio yeah. or out and around town. So thank you so much. I well done, Legend. Um, you can tune in to Sunrise from 5.30 and then stop tuning in at 6 and listen to us. Thanks for coming <laughs> <Yeah>. in. <mate. laughs> Fitzy and Whipper with Kate Ritchie is a Nova podcast. For more great comedy shows like this, head to novapodcast.com.au.